U.S. gas futures climbed about 4 percent on Friday, on worries output will decline in the future, after energy companies this week cut the number of rigs drilling for gas by the most in seven years. The gas rig count, an early indicator of future output, fell by 16 to 141 in the week of May 12, the lowest since April 2022, energy services firm Baker Hughes Company said in its closely followed report. That weekly gas rig decline was the most since February 2016. Before Baker Hughes released its report, gas prices were little changed despite record U.S. output, rising exports from Canada after wildfires, and forecasts for mild weather that should keep demand low and allow utilities to inject more gas into storage than usual in the coming weeks. With the arrival of warmer weather, analysts forecast an increase in U.S. gas demand, including exports, from 91.3 BCF day this week to 91.6 billion next week as households and businesses activate their air conditioning systems. These projections indicate higher demand compared to the previous outlook. Gas flows to the seven major U.S. LNG export plants, averaged 13.1 BCF day thus far in May, down from the record-setting 14 billion in April. This reduction primarily resulted from operational adjustments at Cameron LNG's terminal in Louisiana and Cheney Air Energy Incorporated's facilities at Sabine Pass and Corpus Christi. A daily and weekly close above $2.35 will be initial signs of a resumption of the uptrend in Henry Hub's front month, to be affirmed by a clearing through of the swing high of $2.46, near the 50-day moving average level. This level is likely to attract attention as a potential support or resistance level. The flip side is that a steady dip beneath the 20-day moving average of $2.31 will keep the downside momentum going. That could invite potential drops to the $2.20 level.